Welcome back. Joining me now are Dina McDonald of Choose Local and Small Y'all, as well as owner of Alosi Renewal Spa, and Guy Wavra, owner of Moon Runners Saloon. And to both of you, welcome to this show. Thanks Thank for you for us. having us. All right, here we are post-COVID. Boy, everything's normal, right? Things are just clicking Far along. Yeah. Can I just be straight up and ask you, you got a small business, you had challenges, and you can talk a little bit about what you went through, but also, what are you faced with now? There are some new challenges. Yes, there are some new challenges and still some old ones to keep fighting through. Um, obviously, COVID hit and March 17th, we were shut down. Um, and now, you know, on top of being shut down for over a year, I mean, yes, we are at 50 percent curbside and things along those lines. However, the challenges today are finding people to work. We're currently um, very short staffed. As you know, most small businesses are. I think the restaurant business has taken a substantial hit. And it doesn't seem like a lot of people want to come back to that industry. Not really sure why. That is, that is strange. You would think with the unemployment numbers that people would be coming in troves. Can I ask, how did uh, this organization help you? So choose local and small, y'all. Obviously, Dina and Olosi go back with Moonrunners for about 11 years now. There's, yeah. there's been a relationship way before COVID. And when Dina came calling as far as what she was trying to accomplish locally with some leaders, small business owners, she told me what, what she needed. I told her whatever I can do. We, uh, we teamed up with not only Elosi, uh, Avonsboro Coffee. There are plenty of other businesses that we've teamed up with. And us small business owners have to stick together. Um, it's, it's, it's a small niche. And um, I told her whatever Moonrunners can do uh, to help out, whether it was join the cash mob, go to the cash mobs, be part of the cash mob, um, we've done it. Um, we, we, we've got to work hard. It's very challenging out there. Um, but I think with good people surrounding you, a good community in Garner, mm -hmm. uh, sky's the limit of what we can do. Yeah. I'm very impressed by the, the, the people that have pulled together in a very unselfish way. Right. Um, I gotta ask, just from a personal perspective, you have this organization and you have your goals, but then to get the kind of response you got from this gentleman and so many others, right. what was that like for you? To be quite honest, knowing Guy for 11 years, knowing Josh for 10 years, it, it really wasn't shocking. I mean, I know that sounds crazy to say, but Garner and the small business community in Garner is really like no other. And so when I reached out to my friends and I say, what do you think about this? You know, I need your help. They really don't say no. And it ended up that we realized how much we needed each other at that time. Guy showed up to all the cash mobs and he would buy gift cards and he they would then raffle them off from his business. He would meet other people in our organization. And we really turned into this just incredible grassroots movement that started with 30 small businesses and now we're at 62. And it's not because we go out there and advertise or we recruit people. We have no staff. We, you know, it's just basically us sharing and promoting each other. And that's what we really realized is at the end of the day, supporting each other is what it's all about. It's the, and what, it's the only way. Yeah, it's the only way. Well, now you mentioned hiring. I know there are other challenges, but how is the organization helping, if you can help with that aspect of the challenge, hiring people that, right. for whatever reason, are not coming to knocking on the door? So we do have a public page that everybody can go see on Facebook, and that's where we do a lot of our just um, sharing and communicating about what our partners are doing. But we also have a back-end private group, and it's where we um, share struggles and we talk about things. And in that private group, I kept seeing our partners saying, hey, we're hiring for this or we're hiring for that. And so I thought, well, we need to step up as an organization then and do something about that. And we need to, in one cohesive place, share with our community that, hey, we're pretty cool businesses. We're really fun places to work and we're all hiring. So go to this one spot and you can find all the jobs that we've got available. So Guy, as a business owner, um, and you're faced with this one, ch you have more challenges than just hiring. What are you doing specifically for, for your business to attract people in? Um, we provide a great culture at our place. Obviously we're small and independent, so we don't have all the resources that corporate does. Um, and like the, the folks before, we, we like to consider Moonrun as a family, and we go above and beyond for each other to um, provide you know, service not only for the customer, but we like to have a good culture, good culture for the restaurant. Um, 
I think most of my staff has been with me minimum three years. Someone, someone, I've been up to me 11, 12 years they've been with us. So I like to think that we provide a good atmosphere. Um, obviously, they're making money. Um, but we do need to get some help because everybody's burnt out. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to my staff, if that's okay, because they've been tremendous. They've really put themselves on the front lines to make sure we're getting out uh, hot food, cold drinks, and um, we're going to continue to keep doing that. We've been, we've been through some tough times. This is, has, has been quite challenging, of course. But uh, with a little bit of perseverance and a good team and good community leaders, the sky's the limit. You just keep fighting. That's, that's the one thing about small business. You always have a fighting chance. You do. Well, you do. And with a group of people like I've heard today, I mean, I, I think you're going to win this. What do you see down the road? I mean, it, who has a, you know, if you knew the future, you know, right. you'd be rich already. But um, <laughs> what do you think? Are we over this now? Are we back to normal or close to it? I, I don't know that we're back to normal, but I think that's a choice that we're all going to have to make for ourselves. I'm back to normal. Are you back to normal? Somewhat. My challenges are rising food cost, inflation. Yeah. That's that's the next big challenge for killer. us. Yeah. I, I've got products that are up over 100. percent Are you kidding? Yes. Wow. And it's um, at some point you you know you have to raise your prices. At some point you have to draw the line, though. You know, a cheeseburger can't be twenty dollars. Right. No. You know, so that that's a big challenge right now. You know, food cost for a restaurant could make or break you. So that's something that we've constantly always keep an eye on. Um, but I would say that's the next big challenge amongst hiring is, is inflation right now. How about supplies? You guys finding that you can get what, what you need for your businesses? Not all the time. Not all so the time. So I, I I've sometimes have to get a handful of products just subbed out. Sometimes the consistency is not what we would like to our standard. Um, but that's just the game we have to play right now. And that's, that's just part of being flexible. I like to use that word through COVID is just being flexible. I think that's a great word for f the COVID uh, year we've had. To both of you, thank you. Thank I mean, you. Well, I, really inspiring. And uh, I'm hoping there are millions of other folks just like you guys out there putting up the good fight. And uh, you need a job? Seriously, would you want to work anywhere else? Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, visit our websites at RaleighCW.com and MyRDCTV.com. I'm Bill LeMay. And thank you for watching Community Matters. See you next week. <laughs>